Hello and welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you 10 excellent keyboard shortcuts that you will need when you are working on Microsoft Excel. I use them regularly and they help me a lot. Without further ado, let's get started. First shortcut we are going to learn is to insert and remove filter using keyboard shortcut. So we have a data set here. I'm going to highlight the header and now take a look at this carefully. I am selecting a single cell, not the entire data range, just a single cell inside my data range. And then I'm going to press Control Shift L and you can see automatically filter dropdown has been added here. From here I can filter data and you can see it's working. And now if you want to remove the filter, you will have to press the same keyboard shortcut, which is Control Shift L. Okay, so Control Shift L to insert filter and Control Shift L to remove filter. So this was our first keyboard shortcut in this tutorial. Now the second shortcut we are going to use here that will duplicate the value from above. Okay, the value from above, that means it will duplicate only the value in the same column. Okay, let me show you. So in the last cell we have 23,000 okay and in the next cell we don't have anything but if I press Control D you can see it has copied down the last value okay so if I click here Control D it's empty but it has just copied the empty cell above okay so if I select 90,000 and the above value is 130,000 if I press Control D it has copied down this value here. Another thing this shortcut can do, it can duplicate shapes, charts and other Excel elements. And let me show you if I click on insert and then insert a shape here. Okay. Now if I select the shape and press Ctrl D, it automatically duplicates the same shapes. Okay. Now it will do the same thing with charts also. Okay, here our keyboard shortcut is Control D that will duplicate charts, shapes and any element that we have. So that's one thing and another thing it will do is to duplicate the value from the above cell. Let's move on to the next one. Now here we have a formula in this cell. You can see some C4 to C8. So this cell has been added inside the formula. Now in this section we are going to learn a keyboard shortcut that will show all the formulas in your Excel worksheet. So for that you will have to press Ctrl plus tilde. Okay and now this tilde button it's right below the escape key on your keyboard. If I press it again the formula is gone. If I press it Ctrl tilt and the formula is visible. Now let me show you the actual feature that is working behind our keyboard shortcut for that if I click on the formula tab and here we have an option which is show formulas if I click here it will do the same thing and if I hover here you can see that is the keyboard shortcut control tilt let's move on to the next one next one we're going to use the auto sum feature okay so if I click in this cell we have value above and I want to sum this value for that I can use the auto sum feature which is in formula and here auto sum or I can press alter enter and our sum formula is placed and the range is already selected it, if I press here enter you can see this is the sum formula already applied which is also called the auto sum feature which you can find under the formula tab and in the auto sum feature okay the next one is the currency symbol okay so we have a range here and if I select the value or we can select the sales amount and I want to add a currency symbol for that our keyboard shortcut will be control shift and the dollar sign or four okay if I press that our number will be converted in the currency format if I click on the home tab and you can see the number formatting has changed to currency and a dollar sign has been added with two decimal numbers okay so let's undo it and try it again control shift dollar sign and our dollar sign has been added let's check in the next keyboard shortcut which is percentage format okay so we have our decimal number here and I'm going to select this range and then if I press control shift and percentage on my keyboard and you can see all the decimal points has been converted into percentage and in the number format you can see it's in the percentage format okay so control shift percentage 
to convert your number into percentage and the last one was control shift dollar sign to convert your number into currency format or currency symbol the next one is really important one i used it a lot it's control and semicolon and it will place today's date on any cell you are selecting right now so i'm going to select it again and press control and semicolon and our today's date has been placed here okay the next one is for time the last one is for date so here if i press control shift semicolon it will place current time let me do it again select an empty cell or select any cell then press ctrl shift and semicolon and this is the current time now we are going to learn the keyboard shortcut to insert new line inside a cell okay so here we are in cell b4 if i write here hello and press enter we are moved to the next cell okay but if I want to write something inside this cell, but in the next line, for that, I will have to press Alter Enter. And you can see we are inside the same cell and in the name box, we are in the same cell, which is B4, but we are in the new line. I'm going to write here, hello everyone. And then I'm going to press Alter Enter again. And you can see we are in the new line, but inside the same cell. And if I press enter, our data is placed. So all the text is inside the same cell, but in new lines. So for the keyboard shortcut, you will have to press alter enter and that will give you a new line inside a cell. And the last one is the master shortcut. Whenever you need to use any feature, but you don't know the shortcut, only one thing you will have to remember is pressing the alter key the whenever you press alter key on your keyboard you can see we have number here and alphabets here these are your master shortcut if i press one it will save the workbook if i press two it will undo the last action for three redo and i have a calculator here if i press four a calculator will pop up the important thing is every feature from the toolbar you can access it with this keyboard shortcut let's say i want to go to the home tab for that i'll have to press h and here you can see we have all the letters for the feature inside this tab only now in the insert tab page layout tab these are not marked but all the menu under the home tab is now marked okay so if i press 1 it will do bold and if I press H, it will highlight the cell. Go to insert option, okay? So I'm going to press I. And you can see in the sub menu, we have our letter again. So if I select C, a column has been added. So the action we did here is we press alter and then we find out which menu we want to navigate to. Let's go to page layout. So for that, I'll have to press P. And if I want to learn about the margins i'm going to press m and then we can select from the up and down arrow key. okay for custom margin we, we can press a and you can see we have our custom margin pop up open so the trick is press alter key and then navigate to any menu sub menu or commands using the text we have aligned in our ribbon and you can access any menu or any command from the ribbon that is listed in the ribbon section okay so if you want to go to the back end you can press F and it will go to the back end and here you can see whenever you use the alter key for shortcuts you'll always find this number or letters here that will help you navigate through your entire workbook and if you don't want it you can press escape and it will go back to the previous menu if i press escape again you can see the numbers or the letters have removed so this is what i wanted to show you i use this keyboard shortcut all the time let me know in the comment which one you like and please subscribe and share this video with your friends see you in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching